hello YouTube welcome to another calculator learning tutorial in this tutorial we'll learn how to calculate regression and correlation for two variables now this is going to be different from standard deviation calculations because uh, there we need to uh, use the frequency of the first variable and then here we have two variables x and y so we'll need to turn the frequency off so I'll tell you step by step as to how you can do it um, first you need to go to shift and mode then press the down arrow and press 4 now here you get an option to turn off or turn on the frequency because now we are going to be using the second column for the second variable so we'll turn the frequency off and then we go to shift press 1 for stat options then press 1 again for typing now we'll need to select the option 2 because we have two variables so we'll go with entering the values of x and y before we enter the values of x and y um, you could have a look at all the important formulae that are used in regression and correlation which are written on the sheet now as you can see uh, this requires calculation of summation of x summation of y then at times it requires mean and it require as we go further down calculating the regression coefficient uh, the formula becomes a lot more complicated for example here we need to calculate summation of y square and summation of y whole square and during the calculation of b we need the summation of x y so there are a lot of things uh, there is a lot of uh, calculation going around so uh, you could pause the video if you want to note down the formulae uh, otherwise there is a way to directly calculate these things from the calculator so we'll create a table of x and y with the following values So now I'm entering the values for x. alright now once you have entered the values for X then you could press the side arrow and then press the down arrow and it will take you to the top for the next column let's start entering the values for Y quickly now this is a one time process once you enter the values it it stays stored in the calculator even if you turn the calculator off so so if you press the type option again it will ask you whether you want to erase the previous data or go ahead with the previous entered data so now I have entered the values for X and Y I can clear the screen and now if you go to shift and then stat now we go to 5 
so we get all the options there we get uh, seven options and the first option is to calculate n then mean and so on and so forth and we go to shift stat press on shift then stat then press 7 and then you get the options to calculate A B R X cap and Y cap so pressing shift and stat and after then selecting 7 for regression gives you five more options so what you can do is you can note down this option this is I guess at number seven this gives you five options more uh, I'll have to double check uh, let's go to shift stat for some it is four so you can make a correction here this is four it gives you eight options uh, all these options are required in different formulas that I showed you in the previous handout and if we go back to shift one and for where it is five so you can make a correction here also it is five so you get seven different options so we'll be using uh, we go to sh we go to shift then we go to stat and we need to use the option four five and seven to get eight seven and five sub options respectively so I'll go ahead with the option seven and then I'll select any option for example one which is for the calculation of a and it gives me the value of a which otherwise uh, seems pretty tough to calculate as seen from the formula similarly we can go back to selecting option B it gives me the value of B as 0 0.480 which is otherwise very very tough to calculate manually now I can clear this I can go back to shift 1 I can select 7 again and I can press 3 to select the coefficient of regression press equal which is 0 0.99 now as you can see uh, R is equal to 0 0.99 for R set of data uh, and if you do it manually you would need to calculate summation of x y summation of x summation of y summation of x square uh, and summation of y square so you would need to manually calculate one to three all right you can see uh, calculator saves a lot of manual effort here uh, the formula for regression coefficient is otherwise very very complicated and could lead to a manual error now similarly uh, uh, you can calculate uh, other things by going to shift stat and you could press 5 for numerous other options and if you want to do manual calculation and then put put the values in the formulas you can go to shift stat and 4 there you can find summation of x square summation of x summation of y square summation of y summation of x y summation of x cube summation of x square y summation of x raised to the power 4 which can be used in the these final formulas so uh, that's about it and uh, I guess this tutorial was helpful and uh, in the next tutorial I'll talk about 
uh, calculation of regression and uh, correlation in three variables and till then take care and have a good good day and a good good life and give peace a chance bye